everyone, it's Kat here. How are you all? I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to pop on here and say hello and also I wanted to give you a bit of an update on um, where I'm at and what's going on in my life at the moment. Super busy with work. Um, I know I was in a series of um, videos and then it just suddenly stopped. Um, I can only apologize and just explain that the line of work that I'm in, uh, when the government announces certain legislation, especially if it's a significant change, um, it just makes my line of work very, very busy. Um, so sometimes I've just had to prioritise. So things have settled down again and um, back onto it into a more normal calm if, if that can ever be the case um, during these times. But it just certainly seems to have settled down for now. And also I opened up my Etsy shop and um, I've been really busy with that and as a result I've actually with the help of my partner I've turned my storeroom into a craft studio so I have been busy with my Etsy I've been busy with work and then we have been really busy um, my fingernails are just starting to grow back. We have um, decluttered, we have um, thrown away, we have organized council collections to cart away things. Um, we basically cleared out a very cluttered um, six, seven years of just shoving in a storeroom. Um, and then we've completely rearranged everything, um, maneuvered things around and um, I've put together this craft space of mine and I absolutely love it and I will be filming a craft room tour um, so that is definitely on the cards I'm not sure exactly when I'll do it it's it's pretty much finished but I've still got a bit of sorting to do um, so I'm, I'm trying to decide whether I you know maybe just do it as it is now and then as things get updated maybe I'll just do little mini videos um, but I'm so so happy with the way it's turned out and I'm really excited to share it with you because I know I was really inspired by by you know YouTube videos and craft room tours and also a shout out to a Facebook group um, 52 weeks craft organization I think it's called and uh, I'll link it in the description actually and um, the ladies there are just so lovely sharing their wonderful ideas and very very interactive on the thread so if you're wanting to update your craft room I highly recommend recommend that as a group to join I've got nothing to do with it I, you know I just got fully inspired by it so anyway um I have um been busy um obviously now that I've got an Etsy shop I'm always on the lookout for you know great vintage um bits and pieces to share. Uh, I've been selling off a lot of um, vintage findings um, because over the years I've collected and curated some lovely stuff and I just wanted to share it because I've got you know so much of it I'll never use it in a lifetime. Um, but also um, in the new year I do plan on um, doing some handcrafted items and obviously listing them from time to time as well. So this morning um, I went out um, to a fabric D stash and I just wanted to share some lovely little findings that I've got and I also wanted to share um, I'm really excited about this um, this is a um, now I hadn't thought about this let me think okay so I'm gonna have to learn to cover up addresses but I have not even opened this um, but this is an Etsy order that I um, ordered from the UK and so I hadn't opened it, I wanted to do it on camera. So we'll get to that in a little while. So um, as I said, I went this morning to a fabric D stash and um, the lady had posted um, all these photos and I just saw a few things. Um, actually, I will be back in a sec because there was one thing I put on. This, I spied this um, Martha Stewart punch uh, so I wanted that so I picked that one up I've got that for seven dollars but I tested it and it works really well so I'm really really pleased about that so I'll just put that aside there um, but yeah um, I, I sort of went to her house and she had it all set up in the front room and um, some of the things that I got now I'm going to be doing some slow stitching because um, even though I haven't done a lot of crafting I've been watching videos and I'm really excited to 
do a, a, a slow stitching project and she had these um, yo-yos so um, she was explaining she's a, a crocheter and a knitter and she did do this for a project and these were left over so I grabbed those so um, and I think even this little bag is handmade um, because it's not your normal little sack um, but anyway so that's that one now she had all of these little chipboard um, sewing bits so um, I thought oh gosh I, I can't wait to do a sewing um, sewing journal but she's got some bobbin and thread and little iron scissors cute little um, sewing machine and um, actually while look um, yeah <laughs> I will show you um, oh, what's this a uh, little thimble um, <clears throat> yeah so I'm wanting to make up a sewing um, theme pack at one point so at the moment I've got these little um, embroidered um, sewing machine and little bobbin and thread um, but I thought that it would be really cool to put this together um, so that's on my Etsy shop at the moment um, but yes I will be listing because I've got heaps and heaps of these so obviously I'll keep some but the rest I'm going to list on my Etsy shop soon so that's that um, got this cute little owl um, still in its packet so as I explained she is a knitter and a crocheter and she kind of dabbled or thought she would dabble in a few craft um, different crafts and she never did so some of these are literally haven't even been opened pop that back in its bag okay so I hope everyone's doing well um, it's been warm here um, in Perth for the last couple of days so this one here is um, just move these out the side so you can see these um, vintage design paper dolls now I haven't even opened it she told me there were four sheets in here so let's have a look so um uh, these have been printed these have been printed out on um well I mean it's in the packet so these have come from vintage inspirations and um here we go it wasn't quite what I thought but it doesn't matter um, very cute so I can still definitely use those but this one here okay so this is um, a little piece of paper trim and it's got music paper and violins on it and it's on a quite thick um, paper so like brown craft paper so I'll not really sure what I'll do with that but we'll figure something out probably a belly band I would say that would be nice but I was really intrigued with these now these are genuine little um, there's an old vintage little bookmark and a little vintage card now I'm in the middle of several journals that I'm have sort of had to pack away and put away um, so I will get back to those but these are um, little cute can you see those little cute mice so um, and then there's this one here this looks like um, Beatrix Potter um, 1989 is on the sticker and I don't know if these are the, these look different but these are definitely Beatrix Potter Potter, what looks like that, yeah, the tale of Jeremy Fisher. So we got those as well. So that's going to be some fun to play with those. And then we got some um, of these lovely bits of fabric. So um, I'll take this one out the plastic. I thought these would be really cute because I'm going to do a whole bunch of um, little golden book. I hope the light's okay. Um, I'm still figuring out. I was actually pleased with my camera setup, um, but I have to get better light. Um, but my partner's, um, he's actually gone to sleep. 
I don't know where the other light is. Um, but anyway, I hope you can see that. That's okay. I thought that would be really cute for a little golden book um, on the spine and, uh, you know, just throughout. We could make different interesting things with that. And some of this cat fabric, 100% cotton. And <clears throat> then there's these cute little um, flower flowers and cute little um, butterflies. Um, let's open up a little bit more. I haven't really looked at these. Um, yeah, so that would be really cute, I thought. Again, um, maybe on a spine of a little golden book or just in a children's journal. Um, I am dying to make an oriental journal and honestly I've got enough to make probably half a dozen of them so um, this just was absolutely gorgeous it's Japanese cotton and you can see beautiful colors and the little blossoms there this absolutely stood out to me she said this is Christmas um, fabric um, I wouldn't necessarily only use it as Christmas fabric but it's definitely got the holly and cherries on there so yeah probably will wind up as a Christmas on a Christmas journal and now this one here, I'm making an Australian um, Christmas journal, and this is limited. Um, like I don't think this this is discontinued. And she was explaining that there was all these other um, bits of fabric, but honestly, this was the only one I really recognised as, as an Australian flower. So a little bit of kangaroo paw. So I was thinking I might make that if. It's almost enough for a spine, we'll see. But anyway, because it was Australian, I thought, oh yeah, I'll grab that. And then these gorgeous little bits of fabric here with, it looks, I call it blue wallpaper, but it's tiny little patterns, perfect for journals. And then this one here, which I thought was really lovely, really lovely colors. And again, really small, little prints on it floral so that would be pretty as well so <clears throat> there were a few other things I got um, but I did get <laughs> this and when I do my craft room tour you will see um, how I've got things organized but um, yeah I've got a, quite a lot of washi and um, this doesn't really stick that well but that doesn't matter um, but yeah, I got that. I got that for ten dollars. So I've that's one of the ways that I've arranged my washi. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really cute. And that's just up here on this ledge here, just within arm's reach. Honestly, guys, you should see my setup. Everything is in front of me. Um, but yeah, I've got a little bit more organisation to do, and um, then I will film a craft room tour. And the good thing is, is that it's all out of my house now. Um, and my office inside of my house, um, I'm going to turn it into a bit of a sewing room as well. So um, I've got a few projects planned for that. Okay, so now I'm really excited. Um, as I said, this is from um, Stitching Vintage. So let's take it out of the box. So I don't have to worry about that address. So here it is here. Um, now this is in preparation for my slow stitching projects and just general projects full stop so obviously these buttons so this is her card um this is her etsy shop um so yeah have a look if you like what you see in this video you can check out stitching vintage um, but i will link her shop as well i don't know her i just found her on etsy and i loved what she had so um so we've got these buttons okay so let's just put them to one side okay guys <laughs> so this is from the uk okay and this is all vintage so she's wrapped it in some tissue paper with a pretty gold sticker and oh look at some more buttons here so this must be a i don't know maybe it's a journal kit as well because there's bits of paper in there so these are the buttons so you get quite a few buttons so all of these look at these aren't they good and, and they're all kind of color coordinated so that's like a metal button love that one that's really unusual 
it's good for me as well to see what other people are doing with their Etsy stuff because I've got tons of this sort of stuff myself um, but I always think it's not really good enough but <laughs> maybe I should rethink that <laughs> so you get all those buttons there so there we go I'll pop that there and this lovely little be piece of lace I mean I've got so much lace but um, I always like to look for different unique bits of lace so we've got that and we've got a little patchwork um, hexagon we've got some book page in another language I'm not sure what language that is but it looks very romantic <laughs> okay and some embroidery thread and this lovely little bit of textile here with all this different lovely patterns and um, it looks like it's a, a cotton a heavy cotton I'm not sure what you would call that but very pretty um, I want to try one of those um, patchworky type journal covers and I think that's what my thinking was when I saw this um, look at this beautiful piece of cotton here muslin I love this bit of floral and so oh, that looks like that could be some maybe wallpaper but it's got some texture on the back which is really cool in itself and this lovely vintage looking map here Oh, that's lovely uh, another button pop that over there oh that's gorgeous it's really soft and it's got a little bit of texture in it as well and this piece here oh more buttons <laughs> some pink ribbon some more of this lovely this has got some met a metallic sheen to it like a little gold gold sheen on it so that's really nice some more of this one here oh goodness more buttons <laughs> made in England cross a crossing copyright I don't know what that is I am very new to sewing and fabric so I don't know my fabrics but all I know is very pretty very very pretty very nice so I'm excited to get my sewing room organized as well I have to think of ways of how I'm going to store all these lovely bits of fabric I will leave some in here um, and then we've got some dictionary page as well so that is super super cool I'm so happy with that I've got fabric but I just don't have a lot of variety of fabrics and um, I like these because they're just um, small pieces which are perfect we don't need a lot for what we do so I don't really want to buy huge big amounts of the same fabric so I'm really happy to support another Etsy business um, if you haven't thought about doing that have a look guys because it's new to me and uh, you know now that I've got my little Etsy shop I can see what lovely things are on there and uh, so I will do this um, in fact I've got more um, things coming um, I did go a little bit mad <laughs> and one night um, just yeah uh, you know trick a finger <laughs> and just uh, ordered a few things so I've got some things coming from France and I've got things coming from um, Roxy Creations in Italy um, I just love her work and um, I just one day I just decided you know what I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna order something and um, yeah splurge a little so um, that's probably pretty much it for me guys um, so I'll be busy 
you know continuing to sort through my stuff I might even pull the camera out as I'm sorting and just show you how I do things um, but uh, yeah I just wanted to say big hello um, I'm still around and I will be back um, in definitely definitely in the new year um, big plans to um, do lots of videos um, and get right back into my crafting especially now I've got a dedicated space it's so cool guys I'm so happy anyway I'll sign off now and say goodbye bye